Welcome to another day of Studio 17 Live, the Golden Empire's very first lifestyle show. I'm your host, Eliana Capellan. We have another great show on covering the fun and culture of Kern County, so let's get to it. Studio 17 Live is presented by Dignity Health, Mercy, and Memorial Hospitals. All right, guys, we are starting off our show today with the Studio 17 Live Spotlight highlighting two local organizations. Please help me welcome Ramon Sanchez from Delta Zeta 2 Alumni Foundation President and Carlos Armandres, CSUB from CSUB Men's Soccer Team. You are the team captain. Thank you guys so much for coming on today. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, thanks of for having course. us. Of course. We're really excited to have you guys on. You got some exciting things going on. So, Ramon, why don't you tell me about the nonprofit first? For sure. So, ultimately, Delta Zeta 2 Alumni Foundation is a 501c3 organization that we just promoted. We're an extension of a 29-year-old fraternity from CSUB known as Delta Zeta Tau and our goal is to help people who look like us ensure degree attainment from CSUB. So we have many planned activities uh, that are happening within our community and we wanted to go ahead and kind of go outside of the box mm -hmm. uh, with everything that's been happening with COVID. We wanted to go ahead and work with organizations so we decided to go ahead and partner up with uh, CSUB Athletics with the soccer. It's a, it's a sport that's very uh, loud and proud in our culture. Absolutely. Uh, so well, we look forward to this. Would you say that the fraternity is more of a cultural based fraternity? Absolutely. Yeah, we're a multicultural uh, organization. We started off Latino and then we've just, we've just expanded throughout the R29 years so we're very proud of that. I love that. Things like that are important that representation really does matter, especially Absolutely. when you're in a university setting, to be able to see, you know, hey, th these, they look like me. This, this is, I feel at home with this group. That's right. very important. Absolutely. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this event that you guys have coming up. So this event, uh, CSUB Sports uh, Athletics and Soccer Team has partnered with the Ronald McDonald House here in Bakersfield, and we've partnered with them, and they're going to go ahead and be playing against the sub-20 Tijuana Cholos. Uh, doors open at 6, kickoff is at 7, and they, uh, CSUB has been fortunate and great enough to go ahead and give us a family four pack of tickets with t-shirts, a signed autograph ball that we're going to go ahead and donate out as well. And then this is their awesome trophy that they're, that's uh, going to go ahead and happen. And so I invite everyone to go ahead and come out, support CSUB athletics, C uh, CSUB soccer. My guy Carlos here, it's going to be awesome. All right. So, uh, and sorry, tickets uh, at GoRunner.com forward slash tickets. Okay, so super easy to get those tickets. This is a this is a pretty sweet deal that you guys got going on here. So that's, that's exciting. Yeah. Now, Carlos, tell me a little bit about, you know, last season you guys surprised a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about how it's going coming off of that. Yeah, no, it felt amazing surprising people, especially being picked last pretty much in our conference. We ended fourth. I wouldn't say we were surprised with it. We set goals at the beginning right. of the season, and one of the goals was to host a playoff game here at CSUB and lucky enough we were able to do that. It's kind of a true underdog story, right? Exactly. Like, but don't underestimate us. We've exactly. Got Especially this. in Bakersfield, it feels good just being the underdog as well. Absolutely. And you got some like hometown pride with that as exactly. well. Now that your team is in the spring season, what are you focused on as you prepare for, you know, the fall, getting getting ready for next season? Yeah, so the goal is always in the spring season is always to just close the gap with those other schools that we compete against mm -hmm. and just get better, get the chemistry going again with the team and really set a core in the group here in the spring season to translate into the fall when new players come in. Okay, and like Ramon was saying, you guys have you know an exciting event coming this Sunday, uh, going against the Tijuana Cholos. Tell me a little bit more about that. How does it feel? So it's, I mean, it's exciting. You always playing a pro team. It's it's huge. Yeah. Especially like we're, that's what we're shooting for. We want to be pros. We're going to be playing against pros. So it's a big test for us. Absolutely. And it's just going to be an exciting game. Do you get to kind of meet the players beforehand? You know, I mean. I wouldn't want to meet them, yeah, just because okay. I'm going to be sharing that field with them, yeah. but, you know, it, it's cool. We'll, if we get to meet them, we'll get to meet them, but once we step in those lines... It's definitely it's an interesting dynamic, though, because like you said, these are people that you, you want to be mm -hmm. like one day. You're aiming. This is the exactly. next goal. This is the next step for you in your career, and so it's cool to see you go from kind of kind of being like that, that fan mm -hmm. to being like, oh, no, now we're like competitors. Exactly. Like, I'm on your level. Exactly. This is, we're going to show them that we could play, too. Absolutely. We're gonna be there. Are we going to hear lots of, um, you know, goals? You know, hopefully <laughs> that's what we're aiming for, but only goals from us. That's yeah, right. Only that's goals right. From us. We just need them from the runners. Yeah. Now, um, it's going to be a great game. Tell me a little bit more about what time that game starts and where people can get more. The game starts at 7, but go in, doors open up at 6, see us warm up, see both teams warm up. The excitement's gonna kick right away at seven. I know once that ball starts rolling, the game's gonna be good. Absolutely. All right, you guys. For more information, of course, go to gorunners.com/tickets. Thank you guys so much for coming on today. Thanks I really do us. appreciate Thank it. You. Yeah, of go course. Runners. Go runners, right? All right. From supporting local athletics to supporting the local organizations caring for our loved ones, we're checking out what's new with the ADAKC after this break.